This is question 13 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Higher Maths exam. We're shown the graph of an exponential function, 2 to the power x plus 3, we're told it passes through point 1b, crosses the y-axis at q, and we're asked for the value of b in part a. So, point lying on a curve the coordinates of the point will satisfy the equation of the curve. In other words, when x is 1, y will be b. Or in the case of the f of x notation, when x, when x is 1, when 1 goes into this function, uh, b will come out. So there's the formula for the function. At the particular value, x is 1, the formula gives us 2 to the power 1 plus 3. That's just 2 plus 3. That's 5. In other words, b is equal to 5. So we know now that p is the point 1, 5. Moving on now to part b, we're told that on a copy of this diagram, here I've got another copy of it, we have to sketch the graph with equation y equals f to the minus 1 of x. Now that is the inverse graph. And you should be aware that the inverse graph will be got from the original graph by reflecting in the line y equals x. We're basically swapping the role of y and x around to undo this graph. So in particular, this point here will end up here, p dashed, and q will end up on the x-axis down here. That would be q dashed. And the whole graph will be seen as though y equals x was a mirror. And it's asked, asked us to now write down the coordinates of the images of p and q. I'll put down this as f to the minus 1 of x. y equals that. We don't know its formula, but there's the graph. And the image of p, p dashed, since this has undoes what f does did, when 1 went into f, 5 came out. On the inverse graph, when 5 goes in, 1 will come out. So p dashed is the point 5, 1. 1 goes in, 5 goes out. 5 goes in, 1 comes out. So that's p dashed. Q we'll need to look at. This is where y equals f of x crosses the y-axis. So where does y equals f of x cross the x the y-axis? To find out, we set x equal to 0. So y equals f of 0 2 to the power 0 plus 3, that's 1 plus 3, that's 4. So it crosses at 4. So we know now that Q is the point 0, 4. And since F to the minus 1x undoes what Q does, 0 goes in on F graph, 4 comes out on the F to the minus 1 graph, 4 goes in, 0 comes out. So Q dash will be 4, 0. So these are the two answers we're after. P dashed is 5, 1. Image of P is 5 dash. P ends up at P dashed, which is 5, 1. And Q ends up at Q dashed, which is 4, 0. 
So let's move on now to part C. In part C, we're told that the point 311 lies on the graph with equation y equals f of x. And we have to find the coordinates of the image of r in the graph with equation y equals 4 minus f of x plus 1. So we should be aware of the effect that these various alterations have to the graph of y, fo y equals f of x. So first of all, if we add 1 to the x value in here, the graph moves one unit left parallel to the x-axis. This negative in front of f of x plus 1 means that we flip the graph in the x-axis. And adding 4 on to a graph, 4 units up parallel to the y-axis. So the whole graph is moved up parallel to the y-axis. So these are the various effects that these things have on the original graph y equals f of x. So if the point 311 is on this original graph, then we need to do these various instructions to the point 311 to find out where it is, where, where it ends up. So for instance, we start off with the point 311. We then move that graph one unit to the left. So 311 would become 211. The x coordinate would go down by 1. We then flip this graph in the x-axis. In other words, the height of a point being 11, it will now be minus 11. And then finally, to get to the graph y equals 4 minus f of x plus 1, we add 4 to this graph. So this point will move up 4 units and it will come to minus 7 for the y coordinate. So the question says, find the coordinates of the image of R. Image of R is R dashed 2, negative 7.